curveball was great. He was uh, using it for strikes, but it was a great put away pitch. And we kind of watched that pitch develop for him. And I think people are going to have to be more and more aware of it. Um, you know, in the past, it's been you know you're going to sit, you're going to sit on the straight fastball in the bottom of the zone. You're going to sit on the changeup. Um, that breaking ball throws a little wrinkle in there. Uh, the cutter was extremely effective too. So he had more. He had more strikeouts with his curveball and his cutter than he did with his changeup or his fastball, and so that's uh, that's pretty impressive to see. If anyone was wondering if he had anything left in the tank, he hit a 98 mile an hour fastball in the ninth. Yeah, I didn't see uh, didn't see the gun, but I knew the ball was coming out good. And he, he just looked timed up all day, and, and it was about the seventh where it really looked like that fastball was was coming out, and he was staying on top and getting in the bottom of the zone, and that clicked that changeup into being a very very effective pitch. So. Just a uh, great day for him. You know, we hate uh, pushing him that hard, um, but you know, we, we needed that. We had four guys today that we couldn't go to in the bullpen, so it was perfect timing. How much, how much of a balance is that when you're you wanting to give him a shot at this, but you also want to manage you know him and not damage him where you you know it costs him maybe later? Well, we're coming off of extensive rest, so that builds into it. But you know, that's uh, it's the the human spirit and the psyche of. Going out there wanting to have the kind of game that you deserve just to finish it, and you don't have them very often. And when you do, it's real important. I continue to just challenge our pitchers with the thought process, just to try and get their minds around, um, you know, conserving. And uh, it's just that's how they're they're wired. And Michael wanted that real bad. I don't blame him, and I know everybody in here is happy for him. Look like you he and you had a conversation there leading into the ninth. What what went into that? Yeah, that was brief. <laughs> so what do you think? And he goes. I think I'm going to go back out there. And, um, so I just wanted to make sure. You can always give them a chance, you know, because every once in a while they'll surprise me and be honest and say, hey, something's, you know, I, I'm good. And um, very rare, but at least I give them an opportunity and I give them an out. Um, but, you know, I was I was really good with him because he was so efficient through the seventh and the eighth that uh, he wasn't even working that hard. Unfortunately, I didn't want him to see him on base. It was nice for him to get the hit. Um, I was hoping he'd conserve his energy, but it seemed like he went out there and, and uh, was able to answer and put together a couple good at bats. You know, him beating out that that uh, ground ball early on was huge, and um, just uh, some timely hits, good at bats, guys grinding out, doing little things right. How comfortable are you as you see that pitch count rise to where it was in the ninth inning? He was at his he was at his yeah. limit. I mean, he was he was at his last hitter, and um, you know, we put a number early on, gave him a leash, and that's where we were comfortable going and not beyond and um, he was able to get it done.